Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minitop, and today I am going to show you how to install Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shader mod. I don't know if I said that right, but dang, look how beast that looks. You are going to have a good time playing this game if it looks like that. I mean, it already plays fun, but look at this. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to install it, and you're going to need to download a few things. Well, only two. Okay, two things. So, this is a Mac tutorial. Windows is pretty similar but different but so here you go here's the Mac thing you're gonna need to download this I have the link in the description for this page so scroll all the way down until you find the core so download core everything else again make sure well it's not again but again from all my other videos make sure you check what version you're on so right now I'm on Minecraft 1.2.5 so this will work for it okay so go ahead and download that I've already got it and we're going to go ahead and over to here, Optifine. So there should be a link down here, right here. And so it'll take you to Optifine. So go ahead and download the Optifine Smooth. Make sure it's for the right version. So here we go. So just go ahead and download that. And don't get the Magic Launcher. Don't do it. Please don't. Don't. I will not support that. So if you look right here on the installation instructions for the um, shaders, it says install it manually. So that's why... I don't support the magic launcher for this well I don't I support it but the mod doesn't okay so and here you go um, here are some shaders again I don't really have these working yet if I installed super light and it seemed to get rid of everything but I'll show you how to do it I have super light and I'll show you how to install that so make sure you download that and read this right here so if you have an ATI or AMD card the version 9 will work if you have an Nvidia card you need to get version 8 and I can't really tell you which version you're on sorry that's my phone so make sure you check um, what kind of graphics card you're running okay so if you don't know then just don't don't do these you won't need them okay so here we go here we go here we go <sighs> all right so this may seem a little bit scary to you all right so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we have well we really have two things to install okay Optifine and the shaders mod so before we do that, I always, always recommend getting a new, fresh copy of Minecraft.jar. So what I'm going to do is open up Minecraft, Options, Force Update, and then Log In. Okay, what this is going to do is Force Update your Minecraft and give you a fresh Minecraft.jar. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Blah, 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 blah. blah. All right, there we go. We're done. Now, and finish up. Almost done there. There you go. Okay. So right now I'm going to go to the Minecraft folder. So I'm going to make a new finder window. Command N. Library. Application support. Minecraft. And I have a video on getting the library folder here. Because online you can't really get to it um, easily. So go ahead and watch my video on that. It will be in the description. Okay. So now the reason I have this here um, is because I installed Optifine before. So this usually won't be here for you. Okay. So just ignore it. So here we go, we have a fresh Minecraft.jar, everything is all good. So what I'm going to do before any mod tutorial is back up your Minecraft. I always say this because if it crashes or you screw something up, all you have to do is replace this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and copy, paste. Okay, so while that's copying and pasting, I'm going to explain something that's probably going to scare the crap out of you, but it's actually really awesome, okay? So, if you guys recall, um, in, let's just pretend this is a Minecraft folder, you go into the bin, okay? And remember how I had to turn this into a .zip and it became a folder? Well, the automatic installer with the shaders mod doesn't support it being a folder. So I found something that's really useful. Actually, someone gave it to me and they're awesome. I'll see if I can find the channel to link you, but check this out. This is a terminal command that uses the um, compressing software that comes with Mac to uncompress it and put it here. So it should become right here. So you can just easily edit it and then it will recompress it and put it back where it was. If you don't know what I mean, just watch this, okay? So you're gonna need terminal, all right? Every Mac has terminal, don't tell me you don't have it, all right? I don't think you can even delete it, so you shouldn't see anything, like it should look like this. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in on this and you're just gonna watch. So first, you need to copy the first command. Now this whole text file will be in the description, okay? Um, I will try putting just the commands in the description so um, I'll just paste this in the description for you but I would recommend downloading the whole text file because you might use this before on other mods so just go ahead and copy the first part make sure you don't grab like that you just grab the top and the very bottom so 
copy, then come down here into your terminal window and paste it. You don't even press have to press enter. But I like doing it anyway. I hiccuped right there. What was that? So then press enter just for kicks anyway. So now when you open up your finder, you should default to your username. So you go to the little home icon and you should see MC temp. That stands for Minecraft temporary folder or whatever you want to call it. So this is your Minecraft.jar. Look at that. It's pretty sweet. So now you don't have to go fiddling around to get to your Minecraft folder in, unless you want to back it up, of course, which I always recommend doing. Okay. So now if I enter in this second command, what's going to happen is it's going to remove meta inf so you don't ever have to, to do that again. And it's going to put it back. Okay. But we don't want to do that yet. We want to install Optifine. Now it is key that you keep um, your terminal command open. If you close it um, while it has this command running, because it's not running or anything, but we changed the directory to the Minecraft folder, which is, if you guys don't know what that means, here's what I'm saying. Just keep your this terminal command open until you finished, until you put in the second command, okay? So here we go, we've got the Optifine open. All right, so Optifine, this is what we downloaded. Command A, Command C. So I just copied all this and I'm gonna paste it into MC temp, so paste. And go ahead and replace everything. Okay, so remember your terminal command should be still open, okay? That's key, do not close it after you've done this. So then go in here, copy the second part. Remember, just get the, the parts that you need, don't grab any other spaces, so copy. Go back to terminal, paste. And it should just do it automatically, you shouldn't have to press enter, but I like doing it anyway. Yeah, you actually have to press enter on the second one. Okay, so now look, if I open up the finder and I go back to the home folder, it's gone. Minecraft has been put back where it was. So if we go to library, application support, Minecraft, it's gone. And it, look how it's still a dot jar. It didn't become Minecraft.jar, but in a folder format, it's still a dot jar, which is key for this installation. Okay, now you can close terminal, you should be fine, and you can quit it if you want. So quit and we'll save that for later. So now we have Optifine installed. So what I'm gonna do is open up Minecraft and test it out. So I'll be right back to you. All right guys, we're back and let's test it out. Ready? Escape, options, video settings. Here we go, Optifine has been installed. We have done it successfully. That's good, if you see this, then you're good. So here we go, punch a sheep in the face and we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the installation. So we're gonna save and quit and close this out. All right, so now this part is pretty easy. You guys are gonna just be amazed by this. So here we go, we're gonna open up the unbelievable shaders and you should see something like this. Um, all you have to do is double click the installer and press install mods. That's it. It's, it's now done. You have the shaders mod. What now, let's do it, let's test it out. All right guys, we are now back and I did it. The shaders mod is installed. Oh my goodness, I am so laggy. And there's motion blur on here. Wow, that's a lot of motion blur. But check this out, look at my FPS. Yep, that's right. You need a beast of a computer to run this mod. You need a beast computer, okay? You cannot run this mod off a little laptop, I don't think, okay? If you can, you must have like an Alienware laptop or something, but this is a very graphical intensive mod, so be warned, all right? This is a insane mod. So now I'm gonna close it out and because I cannot take the lag anymore and I'm just gonna get out of here. It's so laggy, close. Okay, so now we've got that installed. I'm proud of you, you've done it. So now if you wanna install the super light or the ultra or whatever you want, then it's pretty easy, okay? So you're gonna need that terminal command again. So let's go back, that's why I saved it. and. Get this terminal command, you're going to want this for all your mod installations. Now you never have to go to the Minecraft folder again. All right, so here we go. So copy, we're gonna open up terminal again. And remember, paste, good, 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 paste. Press enter, okay? And we're gonna make a new, whoops, not a new terminal window, a new finder window, noob. So there we go, we got MC temp. Okay, now that you're in MC temp, you want to press um, SH on your keyboard and you should be taken and you could find shaders in here. So actually just type in shaders. There you go. So when you press something, it should take you to that. So if I press A, it will take me to anything that starts with A. If I type in 
Y, it will take me to the Y. So type in shaders, it will take you to shaders instead of scrolling through this whole thing. Well, it's actually at the bottom, okay. Whatever. So find shaders, go in here, and you should be greeted with a bunch of fish and fish folders. Okay? So what you're going to do is grab um, this, all the super light or whatever you download, the ultra. So copy and paste. Apply to all, replace. Okay? So there you go. You are now in here. So now we're going to open up Minecraft and test it out. But, but, please don't just, don't leave it like that. You need to run the second terminal command, okay? That was key. I almost tricked you there. Don't do it. Just now put in the second terminal command. Press enter. You should be good. So now if I go here, there's nothing. So now I'm going to run Minecraft once more and we'll give it a test, okay? I am back. Now, I don't know if I did it wrong. I know I didn't do it wrong. But... See, look, here we go. We still got something installed. This normally doesn't wave, but I'm still lagging. Look at this. Four. Yeah, I went up two FPS. I'm so proud of myself. So, yeah, that's how you install other stuff into it. But I would just recommend going vanilla. I mean, it's not vanilla Minecraft, but I meant go like the. Just you do the installer and you'll be fine because I don't think you need all this extra stuff. It doesn't really. It just. It makes you. I don't know. It just doesn't look good. I mean. This is the super light, and I'm still lagging. Jeez, oh, wait. Okay, I'm out of here. All right, we're out. We're out. Okay, save and quit the title. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this installation video, but I have one more thing I want to show you. Okay? So, you could have done this before, like, after you installed the shaders mod, but we're going to do this terminal command one more time. This is only if you want to lower the um, motion blur, so we're going to just do that. Okay, I got the hiccups, man. I hate the hiccups. Okay, so we're going to enter in the terminal command again. All right, there we go. MC temp. So go back to the shaders folder. And you should see final.fish. Okay, or fish, whatever. Um, open it with text edit. So right click, open with other. And then scroll all the way down till you find text edit. There you go. And open it up. Okay, you should see this. Scroll down. Um, scroll down a little bit, and I think that's actually it right here. So motion blur amount. You can actually change the motion blur right here. So if you want motion blur to be lower, just lower this to like 0.2 or 0.1 or 0.8. Whatever you want, you can lower the motion blur. You can change some of the settings in here. It looks pretty scary, but don't worry. So that's how you um, lower the motion blur. I would recommend like 0.2 or 0.3 because it's pretty high as it starts out with. Now this is with the um, light version. So on the um, normal version, I think the motion blur is actually a lot higher. So that's how you lower the motion blur and then you just command S. Don't mess with anything else in here. You could screw it up. And then command Q and then you grab the terminal command again and you press enter and then you should be good. So that's how you lower the motion blur amount because I know a lot of you guys complain about it. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was a long and hard tutorial with a lot of commands, a lot of stuff to do. But if you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate if you would subscribe for some future videos and less plays and whatnot. So I'll see you guys in the next video. So at the end, you guys can have some links to click on, and I will see you guys then. Bye. All right, so thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. It was a lot of work to put together, and it's probably a lot of work for you. It's pretty confusing. So I have two videos for you guys today. On the top, we have the Forgotten Land Let's Play. It's a cool little Let's Play and one of the coolest looking maps you will ever see. And on the bottom, we have how to install Optifine on a Mac, of course, Mac always. So go ahead and choose one of your videos to watch, or you could subscribe if you want to be awesome, and I will see you guys later. Bye!